Ukraine's ceasefire deal is a top priority for European Union leaders gathered in Brussels, as CCTV's Jack Barton reports. Combating domestic terrorism and Greece's debt problems are also on the agenda. Fresh from the Minsk ceasefire talks, the leaders of France and Germany arrived at the leaders' summit in Brussels, bearing cautious optimism. The Minsk agreement is a glimmer of hope, nothing more, nothing less. But now actions must follow words. The word hope was on everyone's lips, though optimism seemed in short supply. We had such kind of agreement, even, even larger and, and more uh, coherent agreement five months ago, and it was not implemented. Now we have even smaller partial agreement on ceasefire because there is no agreement on border control at all. What matters most of all is actually actions on the ground rather than just words on a piece of paper. And I think we should be very clear that Vladimir Putin needs to know that unless his behavior changes, the sanctions we have in place won't be altered. Galvanized by the recent attacks in France, European leaders also debated a range of ambitious measures to better safeguard the bloc. They discussed stronger legislation on the exchange of airline passenger information, tougher external border controls, and to fight extremism on the Internet. And finally, there was Greece, which has now formally rejected the terms of its bailout, but which needs at least $5 billion by the end of March if it's to avoid default. That can was kicked just a little further down the road to another finance minister's meeting on Monday. The same day EU foreign ministers must decide whether a range of postponed sanctions targeting Russia are introduced or once again put on hold. Jack Barton, CCTV, Brussels.